Welcome back. We have a special guest joining us in studio today. Yeah, Robert Taylor is the president of the Elkhart cha chapter of the Indiana Black Expo. Robert, welcome to the show. Good morning, good morning. Well, I'll say good afternoon. <laughs> you're right. I thought it was morning for a second. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's been a crazy yeah, yeah. day. Yeah. So let, let's talk about this event that you're doing. It is the 10th annual Feed Our Friends event in Elkhart. Talk about it. So this is like the 10th annual event. Uh, and we, we're really excited about it. Yeah. It started out 10 years ago as an event, and, and we hate to say homeless people, because mm -hmm. man, realistically, this is a small community, wow. and we all are friends and family, wow. so we call it Freed Our Friends. Mm -hmm. And really, it started out as that, but now it's like really a, a big community potluck that has grown over the 10 years, and we're, we're really excited about it being 10 years this year. Yeah. And you created this 10 years ago. To see where it's at today, how does that make you feel? Man, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I just feel like uh, I was born and raised in Elkhart and homelessness is a, something that I thought I would never see. Wow. But as we see, it's growing mm -hmm. and neither we part of the solution or we're part of the problem. So we at the Indiana Black Expo, especially me, I wanna be part of the solution. So we created this event because I think holidays is a special time. Yeah. And I think that people should be able to eat and enjoy family and friends at holidays. So this is really why this event was created. You sent me some pictures, which we don't have here, but we'll have it at WNDU.com after the show. You see so many people from the community just pitching in. So just to give people a sense of how this works, you guys got the turkey, the ham, you got the centerpiece, <laughs> but then people pitch in from all around the community with those side dishes and things, right? So, so we, uh, we just ask people, like, please bring a side dish, drop it off, hang out with us, enjoy the moment, because, like, Man, it's better to give to receive. We are all put here to make sure that somebody else is good. So we, we just ask the community to drop off a side dish and, and let the people eat. Like, mm. I mean, we have soup kitchens and those type of places. But this day, we want people to be able to enjoy how we enjoy. Wow. Like when we wake up on Christmas and we got the turkeys and the <laughs> ham and the green beans and the, the dressing, yeah. this is how we want the people to feel on this uh, this event amazing and it's for kids too right you collected what over a thousand toys yeah 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 so man man christmas is a special time for kids and we have over a thousand toys that we have collected we're still mm -hmm. taking donations because we're expecting five to six hundred people at this wow. event five to six hundred yeah 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 what? so <laughs> so wow. we want to we want to make sure that the kids go home mm -hmm. with something yeah. uh man we have a lot we have we have collected over 10,000 pairs of socks for the homeless mm. because we are an on-hands organization. So we understand that socks are very, very important to homeless, especially in the wintertime. So we have been collecting all year and we have like over 10,000 pairs of socks that we're going to distribute to and some uh, hygiene products for mm. the homeless, not just for the homeless, but anybody in need. Like this is a no judgment zone. This is like a family thing. Like we keeping it in-house. Whatever you need and we got it. <laughs> is yours. And wow. nobody will go home hungry and everyone will go home happy. Really quickly, Robert, where is it at? When is it the times and everything? And how can people participate? I know there's a number they can call as well. It's this Sunday okay. at the historical Roosevelt Building. Some people get to confuse Roosevelt Building versus Roosevelt School, but it's the historical Roosevelt Building. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. 215 East Indiana Avenue okay. in the gymnasium. We start smoking these hands and turkeys about 4 a.m. So we got that good smoke. But we actually start serving at 2. So if anybody wants to drop off a toy, some socks, some hygiene products, a side dish, because that's what we're really in need of right now, mm. we'll be there uh, from noon to 2 accepting side dishes, or they can call me, 574-226-4328, and we'll come pick it up. That's fantastic. Uh, we appreciate all you do yes, in Elkhart. Yes, we know you're a busy man. You mm. were listing everything off today that you got to do for <laughs> Sunday, so we appreciate you being here. Man, we thank y'all for this time, yeah. and we thank y'all just for the exposure of this event yeah. because it's truly a community event. It's truly for the people, and it's truly for the Michigan area. Ah, yeah, that's helps help, everyone. Helps our friends, as you said. All right, Robert Taylor, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. Great. See you there. Thank you.